Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about the Extreme Z battle, surpassing all perfect cell. But before I do that, I want to say I apologize. Yesterday's video, I did not talk about cell's full stats. Apparently he does have better stats than what I went over yesterday uh, from the wiki. So I apologize about that. He does have some really, really good stats when you Extreme Z awaken. Stats like boost up to almost LR levels. And he hits, I saw him hitting for over 5 million damage. It's ridiculous. But um, we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about the cell event. Um, and some teams, possible teams that you can run. This is kind of meant to be like a all-encompassing video. At the same time, there are other teams that you may be able to run to beat the event all the way through level 30 that I may not mention here. If there is something like that, please let me know in the comments below what you ran. And uh, I'll, I maybe will do a follow-up video if there's like two or three teams that I may have missed or something that, you know, is really well, that works really well, that can benefit other players. But... Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this. So first off, he does damage reduction against um, agility types. Uh, actually, when we go all the way down, he's pretty much going to be doing er uh, damage reduction against agility technique, strength, and extreme types because he's an extreme. So you can only really use super physical and super intelligence, primarily super intelligence from future category saga. So as you go through here, as you see, you just go and you get more and more rewards as you typically do for an extreme Z battle. Um, you get all of the potential orbs so that way you can get them 100%. Now, personally, I already have mine pretty much set up for almost 100%. 100%. I see one more dupe of him, and then he will be 100% on my global side. I will not be partaking in this event just because uh, JP is really not my main, as you all probably know if you've been following me for a while. But um, let's go ahead and finish going through this. So by the time you get to stage 20, he's a go. he has additional damage reduction of 80% against agility technique, strength, and extreme types. Uh, that's where it gets a little bit more difficult. Um, you're going to have to go all the way up to level 30 with this, and you're pretty much going to have to run the same team up until you get to this level. 31 plus, as always, you're going to get Platinum Hercule statue. By completing the first 30 stages at least once, you get a total of 15 of all the medals you need to get him to Extreme Z Awaken. Uh, 5,200 technique orbs, uh, small orbs, 4,000 medium orbs, and 360 large orbs. You also get 11 technique Elder Kai's and 30 Dragonstones. Um, you are unable to use Dragonstones to revive or continue. If you are knocked down in the event, characters from the future Saga category take less damage, mitigate Cell's damage reduction, and cause increased damage. However, they won't be able to bypass Cell's damage reduction against specific types. Um, the stage costs zero stamina until you beat them. After that, they cost stamina to replay. If you replay certain levels, checkpoints, you get additional rewards. Level 5, 10 stamina, you get additional stuff for Cell's Extreme Z-Awake. Um, so pretty much, you, you don't need to get them, but I'm sure it may come in into play in the future i would assume that something like this is going to come to play if like they do an extreme z awakening for maybe like the intelligence cell or stuff like that uh you also are not allowed to bring any item uh when the extreme z, uh, z battle perfect cell within one minute 35 seconds at level 10 or higher you get one dragon stone do it within two minutes or 55 seconds at level 20 or higher you get two dragon stones and at level 20 or higher with the cat with a ca with one character from the future saga category team you get one cell uh one dragon stone one cell eh. anyway um, in terms of the future Saga category, these are your leaders. You have the free-to-play Trunks, which is not something you're going to optimally want to run because he is very weak against Cell. Very, very weak. He's actually the most weak you can get. So Cell will do some decent damage on him. Now, if you don't have any other future uh, category Saga leaders, like if you were not able to pull this Gohan, you can run this, this Trunks if you want to. Um, I would highly recommend against it. Um, at least keep him off rotation so he's only on the field once every third round. And also try to make sure that Cell does not attack him if you could help it. Um, again, something like that is going to be all luck-based. <clears throat> so if you do run him, just know that you have to get really lucky. Um, you're going to want to run this Gohan. That's the future category saga. Um, anyway, um, let's go over here. Let's jump over to Dokkan Battle Builder really quick. Uh, in terms of LRs, this is just the LRs that are part of the future uh, category saga. You have M uh, Zamasu and Rose. Uh, the, he is not going to be as relevant just because he's technique and he's an extreme type. The same thing with this STR Vegito. But for the first like 20 stages, you can bring these two if you want to, to help you get up to level 20. Um, and then you also have the Trunks, as I already spoke about. He's going to be very weak, do no, almost no damage against Cell no matter what stage you're on, just because he's an agility hero type. Um, and Cell is an extreme technique type, so almost no damage. But the LR Trunks, if you have him, that's pretty awesome because he's going to be doing some de damn decent damage. And he links very well with uh, this Trunks, actually. So you can run the two of them together um, if you really need to. But moving on, um, let's go over here. These are the two categories I already told you. They only link for two link skills, but if you have to run the Trunks, you don't have the Gohan. They do link for two links. Um, they have attack plus 10% for Super Saiyan 1 key. Um, in terms of teams, 
uh, for future category. This is something, I mean, I'm kind of going to be doing a future category building guide also, um, but this is particular specific to the um, uh, to phys uh, physical and intelligence. Let me switch over here really quick to get a close up of that. Um, so you're going to have the Gohan over here. He links very well with his trunks, the old school hero leader, Dokkan exclusive trunks. Uh, five links over here, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, uh, Future, uh, Desperate Future, whatever it is, uh, Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle. So they're linking for 25% attack buff and for key. That's very useful, definitely very useful here if they want to keep them two together. Um, you also have this trunks over here. This is the support trunks. You're going to keep them on rotation. You have the um, other Gohan from your friend Gohan if you have him. I just got the SSR here just for a placeholder. And then you also have Mai. Mai's not going to really do anything here because he can't be stunned. He can't really, she won't do that much damage against him. It's just that she is a future category intelligence unit. So she's going to have the best ability to reduce damage against him. So she's also just there as a damage reduction. Or damage reduction. Um, that's really much, That's really it. There's really nothing else, no other reason for you to have her here. Um, you also have the Vegeta, or v yeah, the Vegeta over here, and the Vegito, um, the, the Patara Vegito. So these two link for three healing. Now that character is actually really useful. Both of them are actually very useful. Um, he has the damage reduction and the counters, and Vegeta, obviously, future category. And, um, you know, he is intelligence hero, future category. So he's going to be doing a lot of damage. So he's really going to be your number one guy. Um, you could also link him with his trunks if you want to. Uh, he will link very well with the trunks as he does have four link skills. Uh, it's just three key instead of four key, so it will help you out. Um, it's really up to you on what you want to run. You can I would probably actually recommend doing this because that one extra key will definitely make sure he gets off his, his hits. The thing is, I would prefer to have one intelligence character on main rotation uh, every round because that's when you're going up against that cell. If he's going to attack one person, you're probably going to want him to attack the intelligence. Maybe not so much with the Vegito here, but I guess it really depends on if he's going to be doing super attacks or not. And I honestly don't know how much damage this guy's going to take on normal attacks, the, uh, the physical Vegito blue. Uh, but that's pretty much going to be the primary team I am going to recommend for you. There may be other better teams left. There are, let me know, for in terms of future category cycle. But that's the one that I'm looking at that I think is going to benefit you the most. Uh, the next one is going to be the Patara slash Intelligence. Now, this actually works out really well in your favor. Um, so if you think about it over here. You have the Patara leader, right? The LR, Goku, and Vegeta. Um, he will give the benefit uh, HP and attack plus 170% up to himself and to Vegito. And this other, actually you can't run the Vegito on here, uh, to this Vegito. <laughs> um, so that's going to definitely benefit him a lot. These two guys are going to link very well. He's going to do damage because he is a physical and future category. Then you have these two who are also intelligent. They're only getting a 90% buff, which does kind of stink. They link with each other for four link skills though. But these two are going to be getting the additional buff. So this guy's going to be doing a lot more damage than, tip than normally. Um, so you can definitely benefit from that. Plus, this guy is this, a hero intelligence. While he's not future category, he will at least be able to tank a little bit better. Plus, he has a ridiculous, the ridiculous stats. Um, so you definitely could utilize him. Plus, my I just threw in here. You could also go back over here and throw any of these intelligence guys on here, like the trunks. Um, well, it's pretty much just actually I already have everyone on there. So just throw in another intelligence unit uh, that you have, and it may benefit you, and they may do some decent damage reduction. Um, as you see over here. Plus, you also have some other Trunks over here. Like, this Trunks over here is Future Category Saga. Uh, not the best Trunks, but he will do some damage for you. He's the free-to-play one. Um, attack plus 70%. Um, and then you also have the Mono Intelligence team. And almost all of these guys you can throw on this team just because he does have the Intelligence Leader ability. Um, so, let's go ahead and just go over them real quick. Um, Trunks and Vegeta, obviously, the two staples that you definitely want to bring. You have Buff Coup for uh, damage of buffs. You have Mai because Future Category. You have Ultra Instinct Goku, which is available, especially when you get below 50%. Having him on the field taking almost no damage and doing over a million damage per attack. Well, I, again, damage reduction like 50, 60%, so maybe 500,000 damage per attack. That's still really awesome. You have Barok, which is, has ridiculous skills, who's going to be doing some damn decent damage. You do have Gogeta, who's still going to do some decent damage. Just remember that these guys do have a lot of damage reduction um, from the cell. Actually, I think damage reduction is going to be more than 50%. So if we go back over here to the cell information... Um, it's 80% damage again, or reduced against them. So actually, it's, you're probably only going to do 200,000 damage per attack. Damn, son. Um, anyway, you do have LR Gohan, remember that, and you have LR Vegito, um, and, well, Vegeta and Goku, which when they get to Vegito, they're really freaking OP. You do have Piccolo, again, none of these guys are Patar categories, they're just decent units. Uh, the Vegeta, uh, I'm sorry, the Piccolo will give you a nice defensive buff and can help tank against hits a little bit better. So you have some options when you're running different teams. Again, obviously, you want to do future categories. It's going to make it a lot easier, but the easy A events, from what I've seen, have been getting a little bit easier as they have come out. So you might be able to get away with running one or two of these units on your team. 
Again, remember that you want to run intelligence to hero intelligence units over anyone else just because they're going to be able to tank the best against Cell out of anyone else, and obviously future category. Um, if you guys are wondering, I'm over here on the wiki, there's the future category that's available over here, and you can go through and you can see which ones you have. Um, again, you're going to want to stick to intelligence and physical, because those are the only two that don't do, or don't have a damage reduction against Cell. So Cell will not be taking the, will be reducing damage by 80%. Also, it kind of stinks, you, he does do extreme, so you can't really run extreme. Uh, you can bring the Zamasu if you really want to, or, and you also have the, the Android 17 and Goku Black. Um, you're not going to really want to run them primarily, but you can run them. I think the Android 17 is also key or manipulated. Yeah, he is. So you can do a technique to physical and strength to agility. That may help you out because, I mean, you're not running a technique or strength. Um, you are running physical. And, I mean, just having an orb changer there once your HP is below 70%, but that's about it. Then you have the TURs, which is going to be the Trunks and the Vegeta Gary 2 primary. And then if you go down here, it's just going to be the Mai. Uh, all the other trunks is you can run like buff trunks if you want. He doesn't do a lot of damage. That plus forty percent, so that's not really great. Um, and then in terms of the, these guys, one I think this is the one that does seventy percent uh, uh, buff. So you not going to get a lot. Yeah, seventy percent uh, attack plus seventy percent. So he doesn't have a great damage reduction. He is free to play. But if you're missing a, a trunks future, uh, you can definitely run him as well. Uh, when you go down to the SSRs, you really only have my, which is different. Um, and then over here, you have nothing really else except for maybe the base form uh, trunks. If you want to run him, if you have him and the LR trunks together, uh, I mean, it, it can be beneficial, I guess, uh, but that's about it. Then you go over, then you go all the way down here to the SRs and you're, they're really not going to benefit. But uh, that's the guide, guys. I hope that was helpful and beneficial to you. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and uh, let me know what teams you have run to beat the event. Thank you and you have a great day. Peace.